and welcome. I'm Belinique. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I do my makeup using the underpainting technique. And I must say that this is a fantastic technique for mature skin. So if you would like to see how I achieve this flawless makeup look, then please carry on watching. Okay, let's dive right in. What is underpainting? Underpainting is a makeup technique that was developed by an incredible makeup artist by the name of Scott Barnes. He is the man that is responsible for Jennifer Lopez's makeup, that incredible J-Lo glow. This is the man that created this look. He went on to Tati Westbrook's YouTube about three years ago and he showed all of us the tips and the tricks and all of these secrets and since then I have actually used this technique quite a few times so I can say that this technique is definitely approved for the mature skin because JLo is I think just about 50 or in her 50s I'm not too sure um, and she always looks absolutely fantastic and when I've done this makeup look it always has worked quite well for me so what I thought I would do today is show you how I do it on my mature skin and I will be using affordable makeup today I will link all of the makeup that I use in the description box below so I'm gonna start off with um, my highlight underpainting essentially means that we are gonna put our highlight and our contour on our face first and then we're gonna put our foundation and blush on afterwards and what this does is it gives the face an absolutely flawless appearance it really is quite incredible so I'm gonna use my concealer I have chosen a very brightening concealer it's not what I would use on the everyday but in the video this is what Scott Barnes uses he uses a very very bright brightening concealer so I am now going to brighten my face where the light would normally hit my face so it would be here on my forehead I'm gonna go underneath my eyes to try and hide these dark circles I'm gonna go into my lines over here and down the center of my nose, top lip, my chin, and I'm gonna create a little bit of a lifted illusion and I'm gonna take a little stripe up this way as well. This concealer that I'm using does not crease in the lines, but it is not very emollient, so it dries out quite quickly. So I am going to do my highlight in steps. Okay, let's get cracking. I'm gonna start with my forehead. And I think I'll do my lip and my chin as well. Taking a damp sponge, I'm now going to blend. Okay, let's go under the eyes. I'm going to bring it up quite high. Just to lift that look. What I like about using the sponge is that it will pick up the excess product so the blend looks quite flawless. Half my face is done and you can actually see how dramatic that looks. I will say that with this makeup technique, your face is gonna look a little crazy in the beginning, but you really are gonna have to trust the process and release the outcome because it really does work well. highlight is done so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shadows back into my face so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my contour around my forehead I'm going to put it under my cheekbones I'm going to carve out my nose 
as well as my ch um, chin or my jaw I should say. I am also going to put a little bit around my lips which is a great tip for making your lips look larger and this obviously I learned from Scott Barnes as well. Here we go. Using a skinny brush, I'm going to now contour my nose. And obviously you're going to use your contour based on what your face looks like. My contour lines for my nose, I'm going to kind of make sure that they are in line with where the crease of my eye is. And literally, just the tiniest little skinny lines. Using the same brush, I'm now going to carve out my mouth. Yo, that's quite a look. Okay. I'm now going to blend with a nice flat brush. I love this Lottie London brush and this one is what I usually use to blend out my contour. And when you're blending out your contour, what you want to do on your neck is you want to bring the product kind of in, in like a V shape. The contour on my cheeks, I'm going to make sure that my brush is going to be pushing upwards because I don't want to drag the colour down, I want the colour to be up so that my face looks lifted. The trick to the success of this um, technique is to make sure that you blend your products very well. You don't want to leave any harsh lines, you want to blend the product as well as you possibly can. I'm just going to use a stamping motion up through my hairline and my forehead. Using quite a dense makeup brush, I'm now going to do the nose contour and I'm literally just going to brush it up towards the crease of my eye. The lips, I'm going to use my beauty sponge. Very gentle blend. For the foundation, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay. I love this one. This is my favorite one at the moment that is um, affordable. This is the second one I've bought. The trick now with your foundation is you do not want to use a heavy hand with your foundation. Your foundation needs to be a very thin application so that you can still see what you've done and spend all the work blending. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in stages on my face and my neck and I'm going to work with about a half a pump at a time like this and I'm going to pop it into my sponge and I'm really going to get it into the sponge and I'm going to start on my neck. I think this is a step that a lot of us neglect to bring our makeup down onto our neck and onto our chest. Um, and I think it's a really important step to start to incorporate into the makeup routine because our faces look absolutely flawless and magnificent with the makeup on, but then we forget about the fact then that our neck is a different color and the chest is also then a different color. So bring the makeup down so everything looks cohesive and snatched. Okay, let's start on the face. I'm not going to go underneath my eyes because I want to keep the um, brightness under there and I don't want too too much product underneath there. Okay I've really taken my time to blend and you can actually see how flawless that side looks. There's no harsh lines, it just looks absolutely flawless, it looks like my face has got dimension. It's, oh, I love this technique. Let's do the other side. So I've blended all of that in with my sponge. I'm just going to take a nice thick um, clean brush and I'm just going to 
blend one more time. This is definitely not a no makeup makeup look this definitely is a look where you know that you are wearing makeup but i do love the fact that my skin does look flawless and now we are going to bring this look to life i'm going to set my under eyes with a bit of translucent powder i'm going to set under my eyes and i'm going to set my tea panel and that's the only powder that i'm going to use and i'm just going to use an eyeshadow brush to do that nice fluffy guy and i'm just going to just set my under eyes For my blush today I'm going to be using a liquid blush as well as a powder blush. The liquid blush is this new one from um, Body Shop. I've just done a review on a couple of new makeup products from Body Shop and I'll say that this is the only one that really blew me away. So I'm going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand, maybe a little bit more. And then using a round brush, I'm just going to get that into the brush and I'm going to just pop it up here. Quite high up on my face, close to my temple, on the very top of my cheekbone. And just put a little bit into my hairline at the top. And it's left. Let's bring that contour to life. I'm going to use a bit of my favorite um, bronzer on a smallish brush. And I'm not going to use too, too much product. I just want to bring the contour to life. So exactly where I put the contour, I'm now gently going to use my bronzer. For my highlighter, in Tati's video, what Scott Barnes does is he has this massive palette full of these incredible highlighters and he takes this big brush and he swirls them all through the colors and then he pops that on her face. And it looks absolutely insane. I don't have one of those palettes, but I do have a few highlighters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my brush through my highlighters. I've got like a pinky color, goldy color, and a bronzy color. And I'm gonna run my brush, which is this cute little Lottie London one, through three of the all three of the products and then put it onto my face. I'm gonna put my highlighter on just um, the high points of my cheeks and the bridge of my nose and a tiny little bit of my cupid's bow, and that's where I'm gonna concentrate the highlighter for my face. I have got texture on my forehead and I don't want to draw attention to that. Oh my gracious, this I think is my most favorite makeup product is the highlighter. It just looks incredible. Oh, I love shiny things. The last powder product I'm going to put on my face is this blusher. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that just above the apple of my cheek, just over here, just to blend everything all together should give me a very healthy glow maybe a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well okay. my last step again is I'm gonna now polish all of these products together I'm gonna use my big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend absolutely everything all together I haven't forgot about my contour that was around my lips, so now I'm going to do my lips. I'm just going to use a nude lip liner and a gloss to do that. This is such a clever trick to contour around the lips because what this has done is it actually has made my lips look like there is a little bit more to them they look quite juicy and i quite like that there's a little bit of a shadow that is around them it's such a clever look i don't do this often enough i should do it more often i really really like that okay so now what i need to do to finish my look is i need to put a little bit of eye makeup on so i'm going to quickly do that and then we'll be back and there we have it so my face is done and i absolutely love what my skin looks like I feel very beautiful, I feel flawless, and I am ready to go out and have a lovely day. This is such an incredible look to do for during the day. You can also do it for date night, you can do it if you're going out for a special event. 
um, it photographs beautifully, providing you use good products that don't flash back, but such a really awesome technique. And now that I have practiced it quite a bit, what I have found is that it's not as time consuming as one would think. I can get my face done, everything done and dusted in about 35 minutes, which is not a long time to get such an incredible makeup look. I hope that you give this a go. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, won't you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And while you're there, ring the bell and then you'll be notified of all of my upcoming videos. That's it from me for today. So I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you soon. Bye.